viewers, uh, this is Chika Pemba from Fountain School of Kasama. I'm going to take you in integrated science where we are going to learn about liquids. Now before we do that, I would love us to go through what you looked at last time when we were learning integrated science. Hey, I know up there you are able to remember what we looked at last time in science. So can you try to just look at certain things that we looked at in science? Remember, we were looking at the three states of matter, of which we said these three states of matter, we named them as the first one, solid, then the second one, liquid, then the last one, we said gas. So there are three states of matter, solid, liquid, and D, gas. Now, before we go any further, I would love us to go through what we looked at last time so that we can pick it up from where we're going to end. Okay, so last time we were looking at materials and energy, of which we discussed to say under materials and energy we looked at the states of matter. We said there are three states of matter, which is solids, liquids, and D gas. Now, under these three states of matter, we only picked one state of matter, which is solids. So we said solids are substances that have shape, weight, and they are hard. They are hard. Of which I even explained to say, when you say they have shape, you are able to tell to say this object is in this in, in, in this shape. This object is in a rectangular, it is in a cuboid shape. Then apart from that, they, they have weight. You are able to tell to say, is this heavy? Is this light? Then apart from that, we say they are hard. So when you touch these, when you hold the solids, they are hard in nature. If you compress them, they can even break. Okay, then apart from that, we also looked at examples of solids, of which we said a pencil can be a solid because it has shape, it, is, it has weight, and it is also hard. Then apart from that, we also looked at a piece of chalk. This chalk that you are seeing here, it is in form of a solid because it has shape, it has also uh, weight, and it is hard. Apart from that, we also looked at a brick, we also looked at wood, stones, the duster, sand, ice block, crayons, and metal. So all these things are in the solid state. Okay, now today I want us to look at liquids. What are liquids? Okay, like I said earlier, what are liquids? If I able to answer that question, then you know what you're going to discuss. So what are liquids? Now the second question I would love to challenge you with is give examples of liquids. At least the four examples of liquids. The other one, what are some of the properties of liquids? What are some of the things that will, will be able to tell you say this is a liquid and this is not a liquid? So what are some of the properties of no liquids? Okay, so if you've attempted those questions, we are going to find out if your answers are correct or not. So when you're talking of liquids, liquids are substances that can flow and can be measured. Liquids are substances that can flow and can be measured. Let's write that definition on the board. Are substances that can flow and measured so they can be they can be measured as well as they, they can also flow now what we mean when we say flow that can flow and be measured I want us to look at these two words when you say flow when you pour for example when you pour water on the floor what what happens does it just stay there Okay, so when you talk of flow, this is the way in which liquids move. When you pour water on the flow, it will start moving. So the act of moving of water is what we call flowing. 
So liquids are substances that can flow and measured. So this water or these, these liquids can also be measured. Okay. Now, I would love us to look at it, some of the examples of all these liquids. What are some of the liquids that you know out there? Okay, let's look at the examples. Okay, so there are a lot of examples of these liquids. What are some of those examples? Let's take for instance, okay, here with me is a bottle. In this bottle, there is something that we cannot tell what it is, but looking at it, we can be able to, to name it. What is in there, in that bottle? What is in that bottle? So, if you look carefully, what is in there, see, water. Water is one of the examples of liquids. Let's try the word the, uh, water and hold. Okay, so we have water as an example. Apart from water. Apart from water. Okay, here with me. Okay, I know what is found in that bottle. What can we find in that bottle? Okay, so anything that can flow and be measured. Now, let me put it in this way. Let's move the word flow. Anything that you can drink is a liquid. What are some of the, the substances that you are able to drink? You said number one, water. What other examples do you think can be drunk? Okay, let's take for instance, if you talk of a drink called Fanta. Fanta is a drink and it is in form of who? Uh, a liquid. So Fanta qualifies to be a liquid as well. Okay, apart from that, when you cut yourself there, when you cut yourself on the arm, what happens? There is a liquid that comes out of your body. What we call that liquid? Okay? So that liquid is called blood. So blood is also in form of liquids because it flows. Okay. Apart from, uh, apart from blood, there are other examples that we can look at when we're talking of who liquids. Okay. Apart from blood, there is also a liquid which is used when you're frying something. Or when you're frying, let's say for instance, mommy is frying uh, fish. What is the liquid which is used to fry fish? Okay, you find out that a liquid which is used to fry fish is called cooking oil. Okay, so cooking oil also qualifies to be a liquid. Why? Because it is able to flow and it is also measured. Okay? Then apart from that, I would like you to mention some more examples of liquids. Because there are some drinks that you do not mention, that you drink. Okay? Then there are some uh, liquids that come, that come out of our bodies. Okay? For example, I don't, don't take this as an offense, but it is a liquid. We are looking at science which, which deals with the uh, things that are around us. Okay, there is also one example that I'm going to give you and this liquid or this example that I want to put across is urine. Urine is also a liquid because it is able to flow and it can also be measured. So it is able to flow. Okay, 
So these are some of the examples of liquids. Now, let's look at the properties of liquids or things that can make us not say this is a liquid and this is not a liquid. What are some of those properties of liquids? So when you're talking of the properties of liquids, we are simply looking at things that will help us to identify a liquid. What are some of those properties? So, properties of liquids, like I said, these are things that will help us to identify a liquid. So, what are some of the things that will help, will help us to identify a liquid? From our description, we say liquids are substances that can flow. So, the first property of a liquid, or one thing that can help us to know a liquid is that they should be able to flow. So liquids flow. I said flowing, it is the act of moving as water moves on the ground or on the floor that is flowing. Okay, apart from that one, apart from uh, that one, liquids have no shape. Liquids have no shape. Let's try to look at a chart and see 
we try to compare if what is on the board is also what is there. Okay, so remember we are looking at liquids. Say there are three states of uh, matter, solid, liquids. So today we are looking at liquids. So when you're talking of liquids, we said liquids are substances that can flow and can be measured. So they can flow and be measured. And apart from that, uh, we also have examples of liquids. What are some of the examples of liquids? We have water, cooking oil, then we also have drinks. What kind of drinks? We have Fanta and Coca-Cola. So these are just examples of liquids that uh, are there. Then we also have blood. When you cut yourself, the blood will start flowing, dropping as well. So blood is also an example of all liquids. Then coming to properties of liquids. Uh, liquids, they flow so as to move. So in order for liquids to move, they flow. Then they have no shape. Apart from that, they are soft. So these are some of the properties of all liquids. Okay, I would love to leave you with some work so that you can try and assess yourself if you understood or not. Here is an activity for you and there are just a few questions that I would love you to respond to. The first question is saying, what are liquids? What are liquids? The other one, give three examples of liquids. You give three examples of all liquids. The third one, write in two properties of all liquids. Write in two properties of all liquids. This has been Tutakapengwa from Fountain School. Until next time.